Hello everyone, Farming Simulator 22 is just weeks away, so let's have a look at some of the new features that you need to know about. Starting off with crossplay. This is a great addition to the Farming Simulator series and will give players across all platforms the ability to play together. There will be up to 16 players on a server if the host is using a PC and up to 6 players on a server if the host is on a console. Now there's no cross save impossible so only the host will be able to save the farm's progress so be sure to remember that when playing with your friends. There will also be cross platform voice and text chat but only PC players will be able to write in the text chat for the console players to read. Okay, so all players must have the same DLC and mods installed as the host or they will not be able to join the server as they will be missing some content. Slots will also have an effect on crossplay as the host will be setting the initial amount of slots for the maximum number of tools and machinery and if a player with fewer slots available on their platform joins the server they will set the new amount of maximum slots available for everybody on the server. Now if a server has already used more slots than is available on your platform then joining the server will not be possible. Console players will have to keep this in mind when playing with friends using a different generation console as the number of slot counts differ between old and new generation consoles. So there's a few things to keep in mind when using crossplay but still a great feature that will give you the chance to play with friends regardless of what platform they are on. The second feature is the brand new build mode which has had a complete overhaul for Farming Simulator 22 making it easier to switch between placing buildings and objects to landscaping and removing objects. There are five categories which are buildings, production, animals, decorations and landscaping. Buildings are split further into sheds, silos, silo extensions, containers and tools. Production contains everything you need to start a production chain such as factories, selling points, greenhouses, orchards and generators. Animals contain all the pens for your animals in different shapes, sizes and some additional functionality. Decoration contains fences which are of 10 different types plus gates, street lights and more. Lastly is landscaping which has all the tools you need for sculpting, painting trees and plants. With the new grape and olive crops they have to be planted by building vines so if you want to build a vineyard you have to open the build mode and stripe your fields with vines first. With animal farming you can also build fences yourself in addition to the many new pens similar to the vines you just put down a pole and pull the fence to create it. With the new features such as production chains an extended build mode was required which is why there has been a total revamp increasing the number of placeable items and redesigning all the controls. So that's the new build mode, it's perfect for everyone that likes building their own farms from scratch or making changes to get your farm exactly how you want it. Next up is character customization, which is full of new features and items which is great with the addition of crossplay as you can make your character different to anybody else's. First off choose your character model, you can be a male or a female, next pick a skin tone hairstyle and colour. There are also beards and moustaches. There's lots of different clothing for you to choose from and you can put tops and bottoms on separately. There's also different kinds of footwear including rubber boots along with different accessories such as headwear, glasses and gloves. On top of the standard farming simulated clothing there is also branded clothes to choose from, from the likes of Class, Fent, Massey Ferguson and more. Your character design can also be changed back at the farmhouse from the wardrobe at any time. Ok so the new character customization is much more in depth to what we've seen before in farming simulated games and now you can really make your character your own. On to the graphics, Farming Simulator 22 will have improved graphics with new ground textures, improved foliage, new particle effects and dynamic wind reaction to crops. The use of the new Giants 9 engine and features such as DirectX 12, Parallax Occlusion, Texture Streaming and much more will give us improved performance and graphics. The user interface is now blue along with a round minimap that shows all vehicles on the map and rotates with your direction. The menu tabs have been changed to vertical instead of the horizontal tabs 
that we had before. So there's many improvements to the graphics which should give us a better gameplay experience and the game looks great. Moving on to sound improvements. The vehicle sounds will now transform in real time to the in-game environment, making the machine sound more realistic. The engine having various loads and resistances applied, for example, if you drive a tractor uphill or under a huge load, the engine will sound more authentic. Attachments have a new audio system and every attachment will have its own individual sound effects. For example, when unloading a trailer with the rear lid opening, hydraulic parts moving around and metal impact where metal on metal will create a heavy sound. While driving inside the cabin there are plenty of new sounds. You won't just hear the engine but various shaking and rattling sounds from all objects inside the cabin including the sound of windshield wipers. So that's another big improvement adding to the game's realism. New crops. Now there will be three new crops added into Farming Simulator 22, which are grapes, olives and sorghum. The new crop types will bring new machine types and gameplay mechanics into the game. As we spoke about earlier, vines have to be striped out across your field through the new build mode. Then you have to mulch the growing grass between the vines and cultivate to help the plants grow up to their full potential. With special fertilizer machines, you can spray the plants to improve the yield as you do with other crops. After harvesting with special harvesters, you need to cut back the leaves so new grapes can grow. Now cutting back the leaves is only required with grapes and not olives. The vines also have collisions so you need to carefully maneuver along the vines to avoid damaging your crops. If you play with seasonal growth activated, grapes and olives need to be planted between March and the end of June. As for harvesting, grapes will be ready in September until the end of October and olives need to be harvested in October. Sorghum will need to be sown from April to May and harvested between August and the end of September. Now, the new crops don't just have to be taken to a selling point and sold once you've harvested them. They can also be processed at a production plant where grapes can be made into grape juice, olives can be made into olive oil, and sorghum can be turned into flour. So, there's the three new crops for Farming Simulator 22. Production Chains There are lots of new building types in Farming Simulator 22, with some of them already being placed on the new maps. You can also build them yourself to expand your farming operation, allowing you to do more with your crops than just selling them. Most production plants have multiple chains available with various inputs and outputs which are listed as recipes showing you what's available. One of the businesses which is part of production chains is the bakery, where you can generate income from things like cakes and bread. You will need to supply them with flour, sugar, butter and other ingredients. To get those you will need to visit other links of the chain like the grain mill, dairy or the sugar mill. To get resources from one point to another you can either haul it yourself or let the business deliver them for you for a fee. After production you can choose how you would like to sell the goods. Either the production plant will sell them automatically for you or you can generate a pallet which you can move yourself and choose where to sell. That will generate more money than selling the goods automatically. So that's the production chains which will give us another source of income on our farms. Seasons. The new version of Seasons will work differently to the Seasons mods that we have seen previously. There will be four seasons with visual changes and different characteristics between each season. The seasons are divided into different months with a year consisting of 12 days, meaning each day in game is equivalent to a month. You can use the time scale to control how fast you want the days to pass by. If you would like seasons to just be a visual thing, seasonal growth can be turned off so you can plant and harvest your crops independently of the season. If seasonal growth is activated, you will have to take a look at the new crop calendar which will give you an important overview of when you need to plant and harvest your crops. The price of your crops will also change throughout the year depending on the demand for the crop. So to get the best price you will have to store your crops and sell them when the demand is high. If you have animals on your farm you will have to plan ahead and store enough food for the winter. 
During winter, snow will also fall and you will have to use a snow plough to keep your roads and yard clear. If you don't want snow to fall, it can also be turned off. So that's the new seasons, but don't worry, if you don't want to play with seasons, it can be turned off. New maps. There are two new maps for Farming Simulator 22, as well as an updated version of Erlengrat. The first new map is Elm Creek, which is inspired by the US Midwest region and offers large fields and open space to build farms on. There will be rivers running through the terrain, underpasses in the hilly areas, a waterfall and even a highway. There are 81 predefined fields on Elm Creek and you will notice various field shapes exist. Some have rounded off edges and some are shaped completely different. There is a gas station, various small businesses, residential areas and even a baseball stadium and bowling centre. The second new map is Halt Bailaron, which is a European map based in France. This map is not made to resemble only one place in France as the inspiration came from various places over the country. There are lots of special places from the beautiful hillsides and various selling points. There is also a castle and observatory which opens this dome at sundown to align this telescope with the stars. Since the map is not based on a particular region of France, the mild Mediterranean climate of the map allows for snowfall with the new seasonal cycles. So there's a look at the new maps that we'll be seeing in Farming Simulator 22. Groundworking. There are new groundworking tools and textures for Farming Simulator 22. Not only does the soil, like other surfaces, appear more natural and vivid, there are also new groundworking systems. Starting with mulching, which improves the soil and therefore the yield of our crops. We will use a mulcher attachment on our tractors to cut and apply fresh grass to the surface of the soil. When cultivating a grape or olive orchard, you can mulch the stubble left on the fields after harvesting to improve the yield. There are also bigger types of mulchers in the forestry section that will mulch bushes and tree stumps. Next up, there will be stones in our fields that when cultivating or ploughing can turn up our fields. Depending on the size of the cultivator you are using, the size of the stones will vary. Using a subsoiler will dig up some larger rocks. Leaving stones on our fields will cause damage to our machines, and if you don't collect them, bigger stones will turn up. Stones will be collected by using a stone picker before you sow your crops. You can even sell the stones to the debris crusher. Lastly is soil rolling. After cultivating or ploughing, smaller stones will turn up and you can use a roller tool to simply press them into the ground again. Rollers are not just a tool to be used after cultivating or ploughing as they can be used after sowing your crops to flatten and compress the seed bed giving you an additional yield bonus. Rolling can also be used on grassland and will grant you a fertilising stage. Rolling over grass sets it back to the first stage of growth, so you should roll over the grass when it has just been mowed. Now if you don't want to worry about stones on your field, this feature can be turned off. Last of all is additional features, such as the choice between automatic and manual transmission, header tilt which will automatically adjust the headers of our harvesters to uneven ground, license plates on our machines as you can see here, more realistic AI which will give us more skillful workers and improved AI traffic, more wildlife and a new shop layout where we can also see the weight of our vehicles. So that's a look at the new features coming to Farming Simulator 22. If you enjoyed this video let me know by leaving a like and feel free to subscribe for more videos like this.